what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i think today we're gonna finish where we left off we're gonna start mowing this field over here and i think we're gonna leave this field as grass and then the field way down yonder i think we're gonna make hay out of it so we'll cut this into grass and then we probably get some silage off of it and maybe leave a little bit of it grass i'm not sure but we did cut that other field over there of grass so we might just leave that grass and then make this silage i'm not sure but we will figure that out so let's get this thing fired up and we'll go on down to the end of the field here i'm gonna go ahead and start unfolding everything and dropping it down Unfold the back there. We can see it unfolding in the mirror. And then once it is unfolded, we'll drop it on down. There we go. And I think we're going to start on this side over here. So I think we're just going to go up and down. But at first, let's see. Yeah, we don't have much turnaround room back here. So. Let's do a few strips on the edge here. Make sure I'm not in the field. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, I already had it down. Let's turn it on and turn the back one on, I think. I think she's ready to go. All right. So let's take on off. And we'll cut a little bit of the boundary over there. I'm not too worried about that. As long as we get... Most of the grass that we've, you know, fertilized and all the work we've done, so definitely want to get the good pieces. Hopefully I can keep this thing pretty straight here too. It is bumpy and I'm not the best driver as far as going straight, so we'll try to keep it as straight as we can. It doesn't look too awful bad. Shouldn't take us too long. Uh, right now, I don't think I have the tune on, no. This tractor's got a tune on it, too. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn that on so we could hurry up and get this done. So let's check that out. All right, there we go. Probably not realistic, but oh yeah, it's hard to. It's definitely going to be hard to keep her straight now. But uh, not extremely realistic because we are going 26 miles an hour more on grass. But um, I guess it semi could be realistic because I mean you could run that fast in a tractor. I just don't know how well it would cut grass. And it looks terrible back there. Oh, man. It is not good at staying straight. But we'll get it done quickly. That's all that really matters because time is what we are really fighting right now. I forgot all about these fields, so... Let's lift that up. I forgot completely about these fields. Or we would have done them by now. So we need to hurry up and get them done. Because it is what we are in June. And this is probably going to be the only cut we get. Maybe. Which is not great. It's not good at all. Make sure I drop that down too. Got to get a little bit more smooth with that. But uh, we'll get there. Yeah, we completely forgot about them, so we might only get one cut off them this year. Which, they're pretty big fields, so I don't think it's going to hurt us too much. But, so we don't have a, a million cows. I think... Um, we did buy some in the last episode, but there's still not a ton of them, so 
Hopefully they won't eat all of this before the end of winter. Which I don't think they will. Uh, we'll probably have a pretty big stockpile for next year left over. So, yeah, we're still missing some. It is just so hard to keep straight. But I think I'm going to aim for something down at the end of the field. And we'll just stay right in between there. I'm going to line that peak of the the hood up something down at the bottom of the field that's what I need to do and then I won't even have to look back and worry about where I'm going but yeah we'll leave this one this field is grass and then we'll go down and cut the other field up for hay oh hey dear know what y'all doing all right I think we got all of that good you know what? I'm on um, I'm gonna go back down this way because we don't have much room to turn around there let's get on up to the edge here and I'm gonna make sure I Get this little piece here. Drop that back down. See if we can get all this because we need some room to turn around. We don't have any room to turn around up here. Alright. that on up. And lift that on up. Wow, we just turned everything off and I'm riding through the cornfield back on and drop this one down there we go can't really see what I'm doing back there but I think I'm doing good not too sure oh yeah we're great But I think I'm going to get this field mostly done or all the way done. And I will catch y'all back here shortly. everybody we're back so I think we're gonna get this little strip done here because I can't drive straight so I think we probably could have got it all in one go if I, if I wasn't so crooked starting out but that's all right we'll get this done and then we will I think we're gonna take the tractor or this tractor on down to the bottom field and get it set up and ready we're going to be doing hay down there, so I need to change the uh, settings on the uh, the mowers so that they're just laying the grass down instead of swathing it. 
so we'll have to figure that out um and i think we're gonna go ahead once we get it down there and set up we'll probably come back grab another jcb and we'll start bailing up some bales on that i think that field over there behind the cows we'll start bailing that up since we've already got it cut too and then we'll move on to this one and finally we'll get the one down at the bottom down there once we get it cut and hopefully we can get all of that done today i am hopeful that we can but you never really know so all right that's good let's turn that off fold it up and turn the front off and fold it up and let's get on down the road here Let's check in on our guys down here. Well, they're not our guys, but we'll see um, how far they're getting along on this fire station build. Looks like they're doing pretty good. I see the dump trucks pulled out front there. Uh, let's pull on up here then. All right, hop on out for a second. We'll leave the tractor running. Oh yeah. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so yeah, they got everything ready. Looks like you got a little bit of grass left there, but but um I think they have gone to lunch. Looks like. I don't see anybody in in the equipment or anything, so But they are moving right on along here. He'll probably be done with this driveway in, in no time. Well, entrance, I should call. call it. It's not really a driveway, but I guess it kind of is. And um, they'll probably be done with what they need to be done with today. And then I guess the framers will come in or maybe concrete. I'm not sure what will come in next, but the county is taking care of all of that. Well, the town is, so we'll just check in on them periodically and see how they're doing pretty cool we'll have a fire station here shortly but it is doesn't look like it but it's getting close to noon here so hopefully we'll get this stuff done I'm gonna go down here drop this off and I'm going to go grab the JCB and I will see y'all back on that field behind the cows. Alright, so we are pulling up on the cows right here. And we need to get back in there to grab the baler. So we're going to go right on through here. And I swear this tractor is bigger than our other, other JCBs. I'm not quite sure but it definitely feels like it maybe we'll compare them later on but I swear this is bigger it should be good because our baler is pretty decent size alright probably need to move the dodge because it's not really doing us any good right now there's nothing we can do with it we don't have any silage so See if I can. Yeah, that's not straight. I don't like that. See if we can get straight here. A little bit more. There we go. Pretty good. All right. Let's see if we could get out of here without hitting anything. Where is that fence at? Or the gate at? Did we miss it. Um, nope, there it is. It was partially blocked there. I couldn't see it. All right, you're going to have to move here because I got to get through here. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But we got to get through here. Well, 
Hopefully we don't hit them. Not responding to the horn. Didn't do much when I smacked it on his back there. Didn't didn't want to move, so. Now yeah, we need to get back and shut the gate before it wants to get out. Okay. All right. Let's get this on over here. And got to remember if I know what I'm doing here. I think unfold it. Yep, that looks good. Kind of liking this thing. Got a wind rower built into it. Although, we probably need to buy a separate wind rower. But All right, let's get an outside view. See where we want to line this thing up at. Yeah, it probably would be best to get a separate wind rower. Right, let's get this thing fired up and started. Might be able to get two wind rows at once, but I'm not totally sure about that. Yeah, we possibly could, but I don't want to be missing a ton on this outside hedge here. Just trying to pick up two. There we go. Pretty good. We don't want to be picking up corn. There we go. Which, it's probably going to be a good idea to, uh, to use some corn for silage. So, we might do that. We might pick one of the fields of corn for silage too because I, I got a feeling we're going to need a lot of silage um I think the grass fields are going to provide definitely enough hay and enough grass if we're going to feed them grass we might get some sheep and then we can feed the sheep grass and then just the cows we either give them hay or total mixed ration so I think that might be the plan there. I'm not sure yet. I don't know where we'd put sheep, but we'd find somewhere to put them. Even just across the way over there. Maybe we can put them in that concrete area over there. I don't know. But I'm going to get this done, or mostly done, and I will see y'all back here shortly. So we only got this little bit of row left here. All right, so we ain't got much left here. We'll get this done, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, we're probably going to have to unload this here. So we can't fold it up with it loaded. So... And get it unloaded fold it up and we'll take it on down to the next field to get it started I was going to take the road but we could go on back here so we're going to start on this back edge anyway so we own all of this it's fine Looks like our windmills are doing pretty good there let's hop out and take a look it might, might be good for us to stop the tractor first but hop out and take a look at the windmills that we own Got some solar panels too that bring us in some money. A lot of it fuels the farm. Well, you know, gives the farm energy. But a lot of it we get paid for too to help out the town, so. Go ahead and see if we can get around here without destroying anything. Looks like we got enough room. Now 
everything looks good back there I'm just gonna get this set up I don't want to start bailing this yet we'll go down and get that grass field cut first into hay but we'll have it set up here at least well we'll turn this off here and we'll hop on out and take the long journey down to the other JCB so we could start mowing that field but uh I'll see y'all back here shortly when I'm down there. Alright, so we're coming up on the JCB here. As you can see, we got the uh, we got the mowers configured a little bit different. Now they're just, instead of swathing everything to the middle there, they're just going to drop the grass where it's at. Took me a little while to figure that out because we did not buy these mowers. I think my uncle bought them because they came with the farm, so... I had to go down and ask the guys at the shop how to change the settings on this and they came out helped me do it we got everything set up so we're just going to hop in here and fire it on up tractor started there got everything lowered already i don't think we're going to move up to that little pole there because it's going to be hard to pick it up but we'll start there get everything fired up and we'll see if it's working yep it's not creating a swath well the middle's kind of a swath but ooh that's just the way it is don't want to run into anything let's back up a little bit And since this is hay, that's what we need to do. We don't want to swath because we're going to have to ted this as soon as we get it cut. Or we might wait a day or two. I don't know. Well, maybe a day. Definitely don't want to wait two days. But uh, that's exactly what we need. Then we can come back and get it all tedded up. And then we don't have to windrow it. So we got that baler with the wind rower already on it so it should be pretty easy we might be able to get everything done today it's definitely it's afternoon now but even if we have to work with the lights on we'll get it done today hopefully in this episode if not it'll be the next one but We'll see how much we can get done. But I'm going to carry on and try to get this finished here real quick. And I will see y'all back here shortly. So we don't have much left here. We're going to finish this up. I got to go back to the other end of the field though and get a little strip that we missed. 
If I know, knew how to drive straight, we wouldn't have to do that, but I am terrible at driving straight, so got a little bit of strip here, and then there's one at the other end that you saw. So we got to get both of those, and then we'll run on down and pick the tether up. And I think we'll we'll let this sit for a little while. We'll go ahead and um, let's turn those off and lift them up. There we go. We'll uh, we'll let this sit for a little while. Not very sunny. I don't see the sun anywhere, so it's probably going to take a while for this stuff to dry out. So we'll let it sit, and then we'll tet it later. Maybe we'll have time to do it today. I'm not sure. Might not be ready today, so we'll have to see. Might have to let it sit for a while. And uh, let me go ahead and lower everything back down. But um, we'll get the other field tatted up. Well, not tatted up. We'll get the other field cut. But uh, we'll go get the other field cut. And we'll see how far we get today on this field. Oh, lift it on up. There we go. There we go. So I'll get this up here. We'll hook the tether up and I will see y'all when we get down there. All right. So we got that hooked on up to the tether. Got the mowers dropped off. We'll wash them later. Probably not going to be today because we, we definitely have to get our move on here. So we'll run on over here and hop in the JCB and we'll start bailing this field over here. And that's probably all we're going to get done today. So I don't think, well, all we're going to get done in this episode, I think, because we're going to have to run back, Ted that other field, you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm running through my cornfield here. Which is fine. I'm not damaging anything by running through it. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right now it is almost 3 in the afternoon. So... Just depends on how much daylight we have. We might be able to get it tatted. We could hurry up and get this field up here bailed. And then we'll worry about the next episode. All right, so let's hop in here, fire this up. Uh, yeah, we need to drop everything down. Probably should have done this before. Uh, right on the edge there. I thought we were going to hit something. Hit some of that corn over there. All right, so let's take off. We'll probably stay in the cab for this because... It's going to be pretty hard for me to miss spots with the with it being that wide at least. It's definitely going to be more bumpy, so let's probably not do that. Let's take a look on the outside there. These are pretty close together. Two of those at once. Not bad at all. Well, not the whole way. Yeah, let's just go back to one. All right, so I'm going to get this one all bailed up, and then we'll see how much time we got left in the day and figure out what we're going to do from there. But I'll see y'all back here shortly.
right, so we only got a little bit of a strip left here. Um, not too bad. We got some spots where we didn't mow, but that's all right. We got a lot more bales than I thought we would, so I think we we're going to be good for quite a while. I don't think we're going to have to worry about grass bales at all. So maybe we'll take some of these and turn them into silage bales like we were planning. Maybe half, I don't know. Maybe a little more than half because we don't really need many grass bales right now. We don't have any sheep and the cows will eat it, but it's not their favorite. So let's turn this off and unload this here. All right, and we'll have to wash this later too because we really don't have time right now. We need to get down there and get that fed field tetted. So let's take this on back. We'll probably leave it out. I don't think I'm going to put it in the enclosure. Whoa, bud. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost ran over some deer there. Don't want to do that. So we'll probably just leave this out somewhere. I think I'm going to take it to just the end of this road here, down here. So we're going to have to wash all this stuff. Well, we still need to bail the field down at the bottom eventually. So just got to remember that we're parking this right here. Turn that off, and we need to run all the way back up here, grab the JCB with the tether on it, and take it down to the field at the bottom. And we will get that done today. I don't think it'll be dry enough for us to bail today, but we can hope. I don't know. I don't I haven't checked the temperature lately. It really hasn't been any sun. I haven't seen the sun yet. I don't even know. There it is. Okay. Doesn't look very bright though. Let's get this fired up and I'm going to get on down there to the bottom field and I'll see y'all back here shortly. All right, so I figured we'd stop by and check on the progress. Looks like they're all packed up and gone and I think they must have Gotten all the landscaping done today. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Entrance is done right here. But they got a little. Oh, they did another one too over here. Okay. That's good. Get it, the ground all leveled out. All right. So they got a lot of work done in one day. That's not bad at all. Guess they'll start on phase two of the project tomorrow. We'll have to check back in on them, see how they're doing. But let's get this tractor on down to the bottom. And I will see y'all when we get there. Alright, we are pulling up on the field now. I think I'm going to slow on down and we can probably go ahead and start unfolding this thing. I don't know how big it gets. We probably want to get away from that pole there. Let's see. Alright, so that's a pretty good size. It shouldn't take us too long to get this field done. Let's drop her on down right there. We'll go start on this edge over here. Fire it on up. And see how much we can get done today. Take a look at back there. Oh yeah, it's working pretty good. I don't think we want to go this fast. We might want to slow down a little bit. Make sure we get it all. I'll probably set that cruise control to like maybe 10 miles an hour maybe. Let's go ahead and set that. Let's bring it on down to like 10 or something. There we go. That way we don't miss anything. Alright, so I'm going to get this field all tatted up and we will see y'all back here shortly.
right, so we got this one little bitty strip here, and I think we'll be done. And that probably is going to finish us out for this episode. Can't tell where the sun's at, but it is almost 7.30 p.m. So we worked all day today, got a lot done. Only thing we didn't get done was bailing this field up, but we'll get that one in the next episode. I don't know how long this hay's got to sit here before it dries good. It might be ready now. I'm not sure. I might have to check and see, but I don't know. I don't think it would be. It hadn't set very long, so it's probably not too dry yet. Not dry enough. You don't want it extremely dry, and you don't want it wet neither. If it's wet, it's no good. If it's dry, it's no good. You want it right at the perfect... I don't know what you would call it, but... You want it perfect. How about that? Let's see if I can get these little bitty pieces here. Alright. Yep, looks like the sun is definitely starting to set now. There it is. Starting to go on down. We can turn our lights on for the first time. How's that look? Hop on out and... Don't think we've had the lights on on JCB yet. There's a bunch of them. All right. Let's hop on in here. I think we're going to leave this one right here. So we'll turn it on off. Looks like the moon's starting to come up over there. The sun is setting over there. This might be our first sunset, so we'll sit and watch it for a second. Not a bad view right there. Not a bad view at all. There comes the moon. I appreciate everybody coming out to watch this time, and hopefully everybody's doing well. And as always, have a good one.